Hey folks, Quillyteen here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play European of Sals 4 as Croatia. And man, Ethiopia, I, I mean, I was suspecting that it was doing well for itself before beating up the Manlux, uh, but it really is huge. I don't suppose. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna boost our relationships for a little bit and see if something might be able to, uh, to brew here long term. But I think today we're looking to attack the Ottomans. So what I'm gonna do is my allies here, um, we, because I'm gonna take a couple of months, just or three months, for these new cannons to be built. So I'm gonna go to my allies and tell them to prepare for war, so they don't start one of their own. Making friends with me. Uh, prepare for war. Now, was anyone else willing? Oops. The Great Horde, no. You're fighting another war. Well, and still you wouldn't. Denmark, no. So it's really just those two, but that, that was what I was preparing for. Um, I guess I'll move my troops to the border over here. Are there... Where are their forts? Hmm. This is in the mountains. We might want to go and find dudes to kill first. Or I could do is declare it and send my own territory, let them come into my own territory so they get attrition. The downside to that, it might give them a chance to group up. The thing I could do is I could go and stand in the, oops, these two provinces here and then make a beeline straight for Constantinople, which is very easily siegeable. I think I kind of like that plan. I think I kind of like that plan a lot. I have Defender of the Faith. We do. Excellent. Parish registers. Manpower is, I mean, pretty high. I don't think... Oh, yeah, right. We were waiting for these guys. Which is still possibly a good idea. take the tax boost at a cost of legitimacy? Sure. So, yeah, we'll get everyone here, and then we'll get it started. The navy is parked because the Ottomans uh, have a bunch of ships we don't want to tangle with. Um, Treviso. You do have the level 4. Okay. Just waiting for dudes to show up. And France and Lithuania aren't going to start their own wars. Suspect neighbors. Piss off Syria. Piss off. I mean, not neither one of them matter. We can spend some military power um, busting down walls. Actually, that's going to be a great sink for our military power here. We haven't been using it much. Well, we haven't used it at all, actually, this run. Okay. Let's do it. Um... We're going to go Holy War. So we have to win battles. And the thing is, we, we're going to have to win battles to win the war. So that's exactly where we want to be. Move in here. We're going to say we're going to redirect if we can catch some of these armies early on. That would be nice. Especially with our CB. But just generally speaking, it seems like a pretty good idea. We will be the attacker in the hill. Ooh. Or we could catch this stack, which would be potentially even easier. Um, I don't mind too much. This guy's got three maneuver, uh, two maneuvers, so we won't have the river crossing penalty. Uh, superior numbers, not by much. We'll hit the bigger stack still, though. I probably should have started the force march sooner, but... We don't even have to force march into here. He's locked. We're going to catch him. Smash. Stack wipe. Oh, we lost uh, our Inquisitor. Okay. Hmm. The National Unrest dude might be good, but he's, he's so expensive. So no, we'll just get the level one. We don't have a half price running right now. Um, we're still ahead of time for another year, and so no, this is good. 
with this siege. So I'm going to spend 49 military power. Barrage. Which should send us positive. I don't need all of these guys here. We're just getting over attrition. Um, do you have a fort there? No. Oh, you can't go there. But you can go here. So let's do that. Just cut down the attrition a bit. It's not going to change our siege timers. Lens making. Diplo power, innovativeness, price of glass. Okay, that's all fine. Let's bring the speed down a notch. We can go and get a casual little boop on some cannons here. And then... Come back this way. Onto the grassland. Yep. And probably no river crossing for us. Ooh! These guys might jump in, but that might be okay, actually. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. At least it'll keep our siege progress here. There we go. Done. And then move back. You're just going to move away. That's fine. We're going to do that. Kill some more of your guys very casually. We don't have the ticking war score yet, but that's all right. Oh, I thought it was paused. Convert you. And yeah, January. I mean, we're not going to cap yet, but yeah, I think January. We won't be ahead of time. We'll go and embrace, and then we'll get some techs. Techs are popping. Killing these cannons. Oh, well, we're locked. Hold on. I might be willing to take this fight. I think the answer is yes, I am. I'm going to wait for them to be locked. Oh, we'll even be the defender. Okay, they're locked now. So we'll do this. Again, we'll keep some dudes here. And actually, Lithuania might show up as well. Oh, yeah, I meant to check what our relative stats were. Oh, shit, we have tons more morale. And we have the... We don't have a discipline advantage, but we have a... Oh, or tactics. No, no. We're behind on both of those. Uh, which is too bad. But we do have a huge morale advantage. So they're going to do good damage to us, which is exactly what's happening here. They must have been getting some good rolls, too. They're going to do good damage to us, but we will win the battles for, you know, whatever that's worth. Disable that. Yeah, finish the Siege of Constantinople. At least already has the breach. Yeah, it's just siege here for now. Plus, you can get your reinforcements. Are they re really walking in here? I'll we'll do that. And then I'll plan on moving out over here. To break up some of the sieging. Um, depend we might have a hard time doing crossing of the straits here, but we should get plenty of war score. I mean, if nothing else, at some point we'll get the ticking war score in our favor. Da -da -da -da. Tunis, Fars, yeah, that's not really reachable by us either. Oh, let's do that. Boop some dudes. Won the Siege of Constantinople, lovely do is group you up and move to here. Throw in some extra guys just to make sure the numbers game is on our side. I mean, we've already got the edge, the morale edge and everything like that, but yeah. We'll throw in some more. Excellent. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, you're going to change your mind. Despite the AI limitations on the 1k stack. You're sieging an actual fortress here. Sieging down here would be nice because we can feed land to Crete. That's been the idea for a long time here. And in fact, I think... Can I not reach there? Oh, what is this? I will do that. So technically, you mean control over one side of the strait. Just to say. And we're still waiting for next January, right? Yes, we are. 
Nothing too bad going on here. No, everything's looking good there. Manpower's okay-ish. Nice, um, nice carpet siege AI. Kudos there. This way. I don't have to go too far away from these guys. Just confirm, I cannot cross. This is a fort to be done over there. Maybe what I'll do is I'll move that way and do that. Okay. So yeah, feeding land over here. I mean, I have the points to, to you know, get to core my own stuff here, but it's not a bad idea. I could just... We might do one feed and then integrate them afterwards, because I don't think I'm going to keep these guys around forever. It just was very convenient because they had claims over this territory over here. So maybe we do something like that. We still have those troops here, but... Oh, that's done. Can I move down here now? Yes, I can. But the other thing I can do is catch these guys. There we go. We'll do that. And then the plan is to move to the fortress afterwards. It might have been going for, um, for, um, Corfu. Wow. Can I buy a vowel? Corfu. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, you guys are just going to sit there and siege that out, which is really nice. We still have the capital. Yeah, this is actually going extraordinarily well. Very pleased. Here comes January. Ooh, missionary strength. Well, that's actually going to be pretty useful because we're going to have to do a bunch of conversions over here. There we go. Stay behind. Siege that. Stay behind. Siege that. Save us a little attrition as well. Do, 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 do. We can set up some carpet siege behavior. The other thing I can do... Oh, Aztec Doomsday. Oh, that's our first Doomsday, I think. Um, probably because we just didn't know about them, because I think they Doomsday all the time anyway. No, you're already set there. And yes. Okay, January the 1st. Okay, it is time. We're going to embrace... Grab all the techs. Boop, boop, boop. And for the idea group, I will be planning on quantity, I'm going to say. Hard to go wrong with quantity. More manpower increase. What's your cap now? 144. That's a very sexy. So all my troops are currently sieging. Great. Love to see that. They're going to do a little bit of stuff over here, but I guess that's going to have to be fine. Grabbing uh, this little bit of land would actually be kind of nice. And it's nice that actually their troops are so busy over here. Wow. That's actually very good for us. Now this army might be in a little bit of risk. So the idea here, um, let me recall. Uh, so we're going to flip transfer control to Crete. They have, they have claims... But not cores. Yeah, so I guess I the, I have to transfer control regardless. Okay. And if we take a look at them, uh, if I hit what? Y and then them. Oh, they don't have claims on all these. They have here and here. They might not actually be able to uh, core all the... Oh, I forgot. I got a new... A new what? A new cannon. Um, we're not about to be attacked, so yeah, I'll go ahead and switch the leather cannons now. I forgot we unlocked that, actually. Uh, state. I have an unassigned merchant. True. Can you reach over here now? No. Here? No. Here? Yes? So we can feed more trade into Aleppo? That actually might be fine, unless I do a collect trade here. We could also consider piracy over here, but that's not going to be the, what happens. Um, I guess this is okay. They'll probably. The, the, I'm I'm thinking there's going to be a better thing for that merchant to do later on, but for now, I guess it's going to have to do. Um, I can make states now. Why can I make states now, and not before? What changed? But sure, we're going to want to grab that. I don't know about the, the rest, but it, I mean, again, I, I think, as I discussed before, I don't think there's a reason not to state things anymore. Unless you want to do some concentrate development things, but... 
Boom, boom, boom. Good. I'm going to give you some carpet siege commands. Thank you very much. We just we have to be a little careful about these troops here. Do we have the ticking war score? We do. Good. Both you guys move over there. And yeah, that's an actual fort over here that's not going too terribly quick. But we could help out with that. That is a large stack coming this way. You know what? We're going to run over here. And get ready to group up to fight this stuff. Especially if we can get our allies around here too. Would well, be great actually if they started sieging out my territory and just took like tons of attrition along the way. France. Defensive war. Believe me. Okay, I have to say yes. Okay. It's not great timing. I think we're going to focus on trying to finish this war here though. Oh, they do siege that quick. Real quick. Which I guess is okay. Come on, pop. There we go. Alright, Ottomans. So, oh yeah, I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to give them all this land, but I'm going to go ahead and have Crete occupy all this for now. And then we'll figure out what happens afterwards. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move our dudes back over this way. Well, maybe what I'll do is I'll stop a little short, group them up a little tighter, and then see where we go from there. But yeah, France is going to be a little distracted. Because they're going to have to defend some territory. No diplomat at all. Um, yeah, keep doing that. Okay, move up. Move to there. Apparently we can do some conversions, so we'll start that. Okay. Since we are in another fairly significant war, we could peace out earlier rather than later here. Well, some of our war score went down somewhere along the way. That's too bad. Weren't we up at around 40s? Maybe this siege here broke it? I don't know. I mean, they're occupying some stuff over there. Uh, you have two siege pips, you have four. Actually flip these two around. Siege pips don't matter for this. In fact, we probably won't even finish doing this siege. I'll probably finish. Well, or maybe we will because we didn't succeed here. <sighs> Lithuania just peaced out. That is unfortunate. I'm sorry, wait, what? Oh, it's because I looked at the wrong war. Like, why is Scotland in here? Are they a vassal? No, no. It's fine, I just looked at the wrong war. Okay. Can I move to here? I can't, in fact. So I will. And that is going to be very punishing for the Ottomans here. But they're mostly artillery stack. Very expensive losses they're taking. There you go. That siege has been completed again. That so much is good. They don't have a fort here, so I could take that in a peace deal, and might. Uh, you're black flagged. I think you're... When are you going to unblack flag? Not when you enter my territory. Not when you enter here. Maybe there? Hmm. I'm going to hunt down Fars over here. I suppose I can siege out the rest of the Ottoman territory by taking a long walk. Yeah, that might be worthwhile. It does put my troops in kind of an awkward position um, to defend against, like, the Bohemian bullshit. 
But maybe? Part of me is like, should I go and whack this guy here? I don't know. Um, should I do Force March? Eh, it would be pretty costly. kind of like this idea, though, of, of moving my troops down here, though. So we're going to do that. We are at 57% with the Ottomans, and are they... They are low enthusiasm. Okay, let's say we want that. Crete, Liberty does guy goes down, but that's fine. I mean, we can't give them too much or they're going to have a problem, like, managing that. This is all good. Yeah, because people aren't that interested over here. I'm wondering about cutting this in half, but I think what's more valuable for us is working our way down the coast so that we can actually get contiguous land over here. That is too much because it does exceed the peace offer. Not by much, though. And I think this is very much what I like to do. And yeah, the coalition stuff doesn't matter. So I'm going to take a bit of a risk by ignoring what's going on in the north. Yeah, you might be able to unblack flag over here. Oh, you did unblack flag here. I guess because it is your territory, you don't control it. But yeah. Um, and that's going to have to be okay. And I hope to hope that we can do more damage over here. The downside... Well, actually, as soon as we control this province over here, we can cross this straight. And yes, to the manpower recovery speed trait. Those first two in quantity ideas are god tier goodness. But we don't... You know, we, we're far away from tech, so there's nothing much to do here. Okay. Some things are being pieced out by France. Cossacks are getting influence. No, 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 no. Okay. I should have maybe spaced these guys out a little bit more. I need you to stop here for a beat and just let these guys spread out a bit more. Or what I'll do, I'm going to force march this one. You're going to force march to there. You're going to slow march to here. That way we start one of the sieges a little faster. And we don't spend all of our points. All of our admin. Um, France, I mean, you do have some pretty stupendous stats, don't you? Yeah. You're going to win that. Uh, well, you do have the train benefit. Oh, yes, because you're defending a siege. Ooh, that's close. Wow, that's huge. Oh, my God, France. All right, remind me to go and help you out in your war there, buddy. You did well. You did real well for me. Looks like you're doing okay, too. And you caught that stack again, which... Oh, say Maybe it's so short it's a stack wipe, but no. Oh, you're not moving very far. Because oh, you've got no actual friendly territory to run to. Oh, snap. And you're just running over here. Be great if you actually got a stack wipe somewhere along the way. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, we're going to catch a random micro stack. They were working to de-siege Constantinople, but they won't do it quickly enough. As soon as this is done... Thank you. That was very convenient. Um, oh, I still... Re oh, that does cover that whole area. Alright, well, I guess we'll do that. Wait for this one to finish. Um, worth it. Although I don't have any military power anymore, but no, that's okay. Because I, I want to make sure we don't lose... I don't think we will, but it is going to be very important that we don't lose that siege. Oh, Frank's is going to go clear it out. Because, yeah, as soon as we take this province, we can cross, and that's going to be lovely, because we'll control both sides. Bum, 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 bum. Everything here is fine. France is winning that war as well. So that's going extremely well. Oh man, France, yeah, you are being such a bro here. Paradox converted. Sure, fine, good. Oh, we could even set up some carpet siege or something like that. Yeah, taking the forts is more valuable. Except, in this case... It might be um, better to just rush that. I could just throw a couple of uh, cavalry at that or something. Okay, at least we advanced the siege. We didn't win it, but we advanced it. We still have ticking war score. We can actually get quite a bit more, actually. We're not going to need it. ISIL is done. Move up here. I 
how she reached there now? Although, this is the one with the four siege pits, right? So no, I'm going to set you there. The siege an actual castle. Did not quite finish. We're at 80% with the Ottomans. And yeah, I think because of the aggressive expansion situation, um, like the, the fact that it's not going to be very costly here, I think we can take huge amounts of land from the Ottomans. And now that we've hit them once, we should just be able to keep whacking them fairly consistently. I'm going to do that and that. Catch a few little stacks if we can. Might have been able to catch more with the Force March, actually, but that's okay. And we still are great on manpower. I mean, our manpower has been mostly trending upwards, I think. Uh, at least it's the last little bit. Do that, and then, yeah, we'll put you back over here. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, peasant upset. What? What? Wait. Okay. Fine. Come back over there, please. Actually, I'll go ahead and just split you up now. It's going to be okay. Maybe one of our allies will take care of those peasants for us. Those frustrating little things. I might be able to put my ships out, but the Ottomans might decide to move their fleet over here and just boot my stack, and that would be... That would be bad. I would not like that. Okay, I'm going to move half of them over here, and then do this. Get in there. Thank you. We're going to clear this, which is obviously going to be a big boop. 88% done. There, that'll give us control of the second straight. Not that it matters, but maybe we'll appreciate the backup. 99% over here. We didn't really do anything in this war. But hey, we agreed to be a part of it. And, you know, theoretically, if that had bogged down, we'd be finishing our war over here and be able to move forward. Um, Baroque music, prestige. I mean, money's fine. Actually, we be spending some money. Um, or lose prestige. How long does this last? 20 years, so it's worth 20 prestige. For, you know, no. I'm just gonna say no. That's done. We're at 93% overall. Um, probably I can get myself my 100% war goal in here. So, admin core and cost 240 is manageable. Right now, this is fine. I did take that. Take less, and then I could do that, but I think the thing to do... is the coastline... I'm going to split them here, because I'm a jerk and it's hilarious. Maybe we even do this. Yeah, how does this look? Okay, at this point, the Ottomans would be willing to join in. That becomes actually a little scary. Now, we're going to have the truce timer, but it does burn fairly slowly. So what I might want to do is not take this. Uh, instead, we'll take the war reps and some money. There we go. So the Ottomans are still there, but I think the six points will burn off as long as I'm careful here um, before that truce wears out. It's going to be a 15-year truce because we're asking for, you know, the full 100 points. But yeah, some of this will go to Crete, some of it will go to me. This is all manageable. There you go. And it lets us reach Crete. I mean, the island will still need boats, obviously, but it'll help us cover this area in case Crete gets some, um, some rebels. Love it. I mean, we could do some other... No, I think I like this. Send the mans. Boom. The Crusade. Lovely. Um, mission fulfilled. Oh, to build manufactories. We're up to 20 manufactories because of the land we took over. Uh, 25 years production efficiency and a shit ton of money. Now, Imperial Conquest needs what? A thousand development. Well, we'll work on it. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, that went really well. I can afford to core everything. So I will. And yeah, well, it'll be slightly more point efficient to get these guys to core that stuff and us for just to just integrate them. We could feed more land, but I think I'm going to be done with that. You know, I, they're, they're very powerful uh, tricks to feed land to your vassals and things, but I just, you know, 
I just want to be me. Our color's so beautiful. This purple is so beautiful. Clearly, we're going to want to focus on that. So, I'm going to send my troops to Zagreb. Once they get there, we'll combine them, split them in half just to rebalance things. We can help France finish, although I'm betting they're just going to peace out. They're 99% against a single person. Yeah, that, that piece is going to happen any second now, so we don't actually have to worry about it. Um, we're going to set up for some rebel stomping, obviously. Um, what do I want to do with my forts? I guess I'll leave them up for now. It's interesting, there were no forts over here at all. We'll probably leave it that way. Cleansing of heresy against Crete. Oh, right, because we do have the religious differences. Which, hold on, this is not... Well, our... Yeah, improved relations only plus eight. So we'll do a bigger improved relations. We'll easily be able to get to 190. So that's going to be fine. And with all of our money, we should probably build some things. Um, first, any manufacturers worth a fair amount of cash. Let's do those. And then we're going to throw in some more of these soldiers' households. There we go. And then clearly we're going to need some workshops and things. Look at this, 315 gold per month. Well, no, because some of that was just the peace deal. As soon as it goes over to May. There we go. That's peace there. Favors gained. Not very many because we didn't do much. Uh, I guess we eclipsed Bohemia. Pro hmm. That is interesting. We could rival Russia. I think what we probably do is rival England. I think we ally Russia. I think that's an excellent idea. Lithuania might not be pleased, in which case we'll probably break off a relationship with Lithuania. It will allow Russia to grow a bunch, but man, what a great ally for us to have. Prioritize making sure we're capped out here. Oh. Okay, well. Okay, I will accept. I don't know if I'll be very active in that. Um, we are going to rival England. Oh, I can't add a rival white war. Oh, the Platinate is the uh, leader of the HRE. All right, good on you. Oh yeah, there's a core button over here. Um, wait. France gave me a shit ton of land. Oh my gosh. Like, wait, why is there more things to core? Didn't I start coring everything? France just gave me a shit ton of land. Wow, France, you're such a bro. Oh my gosh, that is really wonderful. Um, wait, we've got to put a cut in here, but I, wa I want to make sure I max out our improvement. Actually, never mind, it's already maxed, so we can hold off on that. Um, or, you know what? I want to get this wedding. Let me do that before I end this episode. And yeah, the Great Horde, they're going to have a great time doing their great war. Royal marriage. Boom. Excellent. So yeah, Lithuania is not going to be entirely happy. Um, it might just be time to drop my relationship with Lithuania. I wonder if they're likely to break. Well, right now they're more positive in here. So I don't think they'd actually break off the alliance. It might not be worth getting the royal marriage. Just because... I mean, I am over my capacity, but I'm going to eat Crete soon. But if I, here's the thing, if I can't keep my alliance with Lithuania, then um, uh, I don't want the marriage because it'll occupy a slot. And really, it's only a matter of time before Russia declares on here, and I'm going to have to decide which side to be on, and I probably would want to be on Russia's side. Oh, wait, I don't have an alliance with you? We have an all treaty. Wait, what? Oh. It's when Lithuania lost the battle earlier. Okay, actually, this is fantastic. Sorry, I didn't keep track of that. This is actually really fantastic. I didn't realize, like, I was like, yeah, there's a check mark. It's grayed out because we are an ally already. No, it's grayed out because they're not allowed to be an ally with me. Oh, this is, this is great. This is much better. 
yeah, France, Russia, and then we rival Poland, the Ottomans. We're going to rival England just to, you know, keep our relations with France nice and good, although they're pretty happy about it. But yeah, we're in this temporary war right now, which we don't care about. We're not concerned at all. Uh, our economy is stupid good. And France just gave, a bu uh, gave us a bunch of extra land because Fr the French are just our, our bros over here. I mean, it feels like it's only a matter of time before there's going to be a battle with us and France or us and Russia for control of a bunch of land over here. But for now, we're really, really in a good political situation. And grabbing all this coast is incredibly valuable. It gives us huge amounts more trade value in the Ragusan trade node, which is generally really, really good for us. And then, yeah, we're going to be moving towards the Constantinople trade node. And if we get to the point where we control, you know, Venice and Constantinople, and then maybe make our way down to Alexandria. Like, who cares about colonial things? Let other people colonize and then just send all the trade through us. It'll be annoying if it goes around here, but at some point, maybe we can expand to the Gulf of Aden, make sure to send things that way. And then the big choke point sort of in trade control is going to be pushed back to effectively like Cormandel because um, we were going to want it to go to the Gulf of Aden and the Western European powers are probably going to be more eager to send it south around the Cape so that it can go into Seville or uh, Bordeaux over here, or even the English Channel. Uh, but, uh, yeah, maybe we'll just send some ships there or something like that. Uh, since I'm at peace, I got, again, I got to put a cut in here first in a sec, but since I am at peace against anyone over here, we're going back to protecting trade in Venice, which will help get our trade percentage back up. Okay! Well, that was a pretty good little, uh, pretty good little war, pretty good little episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.